Welcome to Hacking Your Thermostat Part 2. In this part, we will use Microsoft Visual Studio and CSharp.net to read information from the thermostat in a desktop application. I created a very simple GUI in Visual Studio to interact with the uh, thermostat. Here I have the URI, I have a very simple busy indicator, I have a go button, and I have a readout for the information that we will retrieve in a second. For this project, we need to reference system.net, system.io, and system.runtime.serialization.json. I created a um, global string here that references my current thermostat's IP address, 10.10.50.2. Down here, all this runs on form load, and I simply populate the drop-down list with uh, the URI values for this demonstration. When you click the Go button, the busy indicator is shown, and then it goes ahead and starts trying to get the data. To do this, we craft a service URI, which is composed of our thermostat's IP address and then the URI from the drop-down list. Um, I created a uh, special method here that makes it a little bit easier to um, work with the URIs. Then we get, uh, create a web client downloader to actually um, request the information from the thermostat. This bit of code I actually copied from MSDN. Then we wait and eventually once the information comes back, this event is fired. If everything comes back OK and there's no errors, we go ahead and process the result. Down here we check what URI we are actually referencing, and then we go ahead and deserialize it to an object. I created classes for each of the different URIs available, each of the different API resources. These values here, they need to match the API from radio thermostat exactly. The JSON um, attributes and these names need to be identical. Once all this is actually, actually deserialized to our objects, we're then able to store the result into a variable. And in this case, I did some extra processing to make it a little bit more readable. Finally, I craft a response string and then post it back to our um, message box here. And that's it. So let's go ahead and run this. So here we go. We have tstat. I'm going to bring up Fiddler so you can see what's going on. And I also have tstat slash humidity. So we're going to run tstat first. So let's go ahead and press go. We see that number 96 here is our request. And we have our busy indicator. Once this comes in, we'll see the information populate down here almost immediately. And it's going to take a while because, again, it's an embedded system with very limited system resources. And of course, because it takes so long, it's all the more important to have a uh, busy indicator. So there we go. We got a JSON response. We can see that our current temperature is 69 half degrees Fahrenheit and our set point is 70 degrees. Finally, we can also tell that the system is not currently running. And this matches all of our um, response information right here. Now we can change it to tstat slash humidity and press go. And we'll see that our URI has changed to tstat slash humidity. Again, this is going to take a while because the uh, thermostat is very slow. And now we see that our relative humidity is 22% and this agrees with our JSON response. Stay tuned for more information and how to further interact with the uh, thermostat through csharp.net and other programming languages.